Frymaster is rolling out a new touchscreen equipped fryer. The fryer, due to the touchscreen, looks different than earlier models with similar advanced features. However, it's similar to the LOV fryer used by McDonald's for the past several years and to the filter quick with the 3000 controller. The main difference is the controller, which is more intuitive than its predecessors and easier to train the staff to use. Features such as automatic filtering and automatic top-off operate much like the LOV fryers. The circuit boards that oversee the functions have new names and in one case some of the duties have been combined. The earlier fryers have an MIB or manual interface board which allowed manual operation of aspects of the fryers filter system. The touchscreen controller, an M4000 on McDonald's fryers and an FQ4000 on filter quick models takes on the diagnostic and operational functions of the MIB in conjunction with other boards on the new platform. The ATO board on the earlier models is replaced with a very similar board with similar functions and is now called a Filter Interface Board or FIB. It, like the ATO, resides in the box behind the jib. The box includes a board for internet communication and two DC power supplies to support top-off and wireless communication on the new fryer. LOV and FilterQuick 3000 fryers use an Automatic Intermittent Filtration Board, or AIF. There's an AIF board mounted under each fry pot. The board occupying the AIF space in the new fryer is called the Valve Interface Board, or VIB. It monitors a probe to ensure there's sufficient oil in place for the fryer to heat and opens and closes drain and return valves with rotary actuators. The control box on the LOV platform is populated with a conventional interface board. The filter quick fryer has a smart interface board or SIB which is connected by a CAN network to other components of the fryer much like the LOV fryer. Troubleshooting is aided with the touch screen as diagnostics can be turned on that allow manual operation of blowers and valves. Regardless of controller, the basic troubleshooting of the LOV or touchscreen equipped is the same as earlier models for heat related issues. On gas fryers, the ignition spark and opening of the gas valve is controlled by a spark module. The flame is proven by the presence of microamps. On electric fryers, interface board mounted relays control power to heat and latch contactors. The basic functions, heating and filtering oil, use components very similar to the more basic models these fryers evolved from, H55 gas and RE electric models.